Hello everyone. This is the sixth lecture, and today we will learn about looping through arrays using for each loop integral. So let's begin. In our first example, we are trying to find a given element in array integral. So let's say we have an array called array one. We will create it. So let's say our first element is a, second element is b, third element is c. Like that, we will create an array of continuous indices starting from zero. So let's say we have uh, five elements in our array that are a, b, c, d, and e. Let's say we have to find d. So we will create one variable called element to find, and we will store that value as d. Now to loop the, to find that variable, we loop through the array using for each loop. Array names array one. These will expand and give all the indices to number variable. Now when when we are trying to iterate array one of number, this will give a, b, c, d, and e. If these values matches with element to find, then we should print it. So number itself is in an index, while array one of number is a value. So when it is found, we are trying to print it here. Let's say now the demo of this program. So we will go to that cur current working directory and we will print that using this command tclsh and then program. We have found d. So but this is the continuous indices of array. Let's say our indices are not continuous, so then it will be an associative array. Let us say the associative array is database of students name and age. So when we give the students of name, it should give me the age of that student. Like that, we will try to create an array. So let us create that array. Set students will be the name of the array. So it set students of let's say the name of the student is Jacob, and its age is twenty four. Similarly, one more student we will create. Let us say the name is Ryan and age is twenty-seven. Similarly, three more students, Kelly, John, and Yang, we will create. Now let us try to find name of Kelly. So name to find will be variable which is storing the value as Kelly. Now for that we will use for each loop again. For each name, name is the variable we are trying to iterate. And array names then array name. Array names students. This will store the value of all the names of the students, and it will be iterated by this name variable. And this Name variable will keep on changing after every iteration. So if that name matches with our name to find, then we should print it. So we will use put a statement. Put a name, then dollar, then this name. Name is that name of the student we are trying to find. So inside the this, let's say age will be students of name. So dollar student will be the variable array. Inside that dollar name. So students of name is age. it will print the age of the student so let us try to now run this program using command line so let us see whether we are correct in directory is associative file is present now let us try to run it tclsh program name now it is present so it is correct thank you